It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey, follow me on Twitter if you want help to secure a PS5, man. I'm going to post a lot of links. Genius Swan, high intellect. Swan. Hey, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Help me hit 259K if you a real one. Hit that goddamn like button. Helps get the vids into the algorithm. And, you know, turn on notes, man. But look, so, hey, hey man, I got y'all with another ISO build. Sensei, the grand but look, so I am bringing y'all the best lockdown build in nba 2k 21 next gen and i am going to explain why so do not skip over this goddamn video or you're not going to understand and you're gonna say stupid shit a lot of y'all are stupid you suck at the game you don't understand listen to me man i am a vet i am the originator high win percent every year versus the most more comp than 99.9999999999999 percent of the community bro with randoms with bots niggas ass telling you i know what i'm talking about bro i've done a lot of research for this build bro okay look so first we're gonna make him a pg overall pg through small forward um overall i believe the from the research that i did that um point guard gets the best badges and shit like that and you know none of this matter you know we're gonna go 24 for kobe drop a like if you um kobe was in your top 10 man now look i would naturally i want to make a lock that's 99 speed since it's very easy to get shooting badges in this game <clears throat> but you cannot make a lock with 99 speed that unlocks intimidator so since you can't do that you might as well go max wingspan and still be as fast as possible and there's kind of no point in having a lock with hall of fame deep range if you're still going to get 20 plus shooting badges do you need hall of fame deep range do you need to go down four or five ticks on the wingspan you know, I'm, I'm going to show y'all. Look, so we're going to go 6-6, six, six, bro. This way, we'll still be able to get a 74 block once we're upgrading our guy. Well, matter of fact, let me just show you. Okay, 7-3 wingspan. We're going to might as well go max wingspan. We're going to go 181 weight. Okay, look, you have to make your lock 6-6 six, six plus, right? Um, the reason I made him 6-6 six, six is called so I can have the max speeds the max acceleration the max vertical the max speeds and shooting ability while being able to unlock um intimidator or yeah because you need a 74 block 65 even when max wingspan you cannot unlock a 74 block so there's no point of 99 speed lockdowns and all that if you guys don't know, that's how comp lockdowns are made. A lot of y'all are stupid. You don't understand. Oh, he's too small. Shut up, man. You're, you're dumb as hell. Look, this is the highest height you can be with the wingspan. I mean, I could go lower to get deep range. But what? <laughs> what? Seven foot or seven three? You know, for I'm making a lockdown, bro. You know? seven foot or seven three i'm gonna go seven three for this lot you feel me just to be you know since everyone's gonna be taller and six you know they got all this you know all these toxic ass builds i'm gonna go ahead and go seven three and burly to appear bigger than we are i did a lot of research this is like this is gonna be the best lockdown god damn nigga roll in the video <laughs> hey make sure y'all subscribe hit them post notice man sub to my second channel Overall, I did a lot of research. This is going to be the best lockdown on YouTube. I even did research to see if anyone even dropped a good lock build. They didn't. This is the best one. So look. Now, th this is the base best one, right? Other people are going to switch it how they may. Um, but me personally, I think this, like, let, let, let me say it again. 
people are going to go 6'6", six, six, and they're going to go 7'3", wingspan, and, and stuff like that, they're going to figure out this is the best type of lock. But um, they might vary the badges, but this is the base, you know, Trendsetter Swan. Trendsetter Swan in the building, nigga. These niggas is my sons. Sun making Swan. 22 finishing badges on a 7-3 lockdown. Very toxic, right? This is a lockdown build. High speeds, bro. You're going to be able to have steel. Unlock all these power forwards. You're going to be able to have interior. Unlike all these power forwards. You're going to have strength. Unlike all these power forwards. You're going to have max vert. Unlike all these power forwards. Okay, so we got um, 23 shooting, bro. Uh, a lot of these badges that you see gold are going to eventually go purple. And um, this is enough shooting, bro. I don't I don't need to knock my wingspan down to unlock, unlock Hall of Fame Limitless. I think this is beautiful, bro. Now, look, for playmaking, look. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all fucking idiots. By the way, this is the revitalized lock build that I already previously posted. This one is better because you unlock Intimidator. Um, look, you don't need playmaking as a lockdown. I don't know what's wrong with you idiots, bro. Like, a lot of y'all are just stupid, man. If you play with comp people, a comp team, if you play with randoms and stuff, then, you know, it might hurt you. But if you play with comp players... If you ever seen a comp stage game the lockdown never touches the ball if you ever seen a, a comp pro-am game the lockdown almost never touches the ball bro the only time he touches the ball is on a fast break he catches the ball and he goes and dunks it bro you know you you, you guys don't understand if you don't play with a team and you don't know how to do comp meta tactics then this build not for you. I'm going to drop other lockdown builds with playmaking and shit like that. But this is just best overall, just pure lockdown shooting, finishing God. And people have already did tests with speeds with ball. I proved it on stream. By the way, follow me on stream. You're Lord Baby Hawk on Twitch. With, with a speed with ball 25 versus max. It, it, you're only one or two steps behind your speed will make up you'll be fine bro you're one or two steps behind from max uh from from someone with max speed with ball so you'll be fine bro you'll be fine when you catch the ball on the brakes or you get a steal and you go drive my nigga you got 22 finishing you know like and if you guys haven't noticed like you're so stupid bro stop reading into stats and shit the hardest builds every year to rip have always been builds with less playmaking with less ball handle you guys never know that but people with the highest ball handle get ripped easier don't know why it's retarded it's always been like that if you actually play the game you know this right you're never going to have the ball in your hands except on a break or when you get a steal. Oops, shit like that. Like, you're fine, bro. Like, if you play the comp meta tactic locks and you work around it, bro. Usually locks catch the ball, go hand it up. I, I'm, I'm done explaining, bro. I already made this build. I'm going to show you little dumb niggas, right? Dumb niggas. But look, anywho. You want to have max interior, you feel me? You're going to have max perimeter, you feel me? You're going to have a 94 still take it down for the one time. You're going to have a max block. So look, you're going to have a 56 offensive rebound. I don't like that too much. I did want to go 30 defensive badges on here, but I wanted to get more badges overall. And you're going to have an 80 defensive rebound. With the maxed out vert, you're gonna be playing. You're gonna have a higher vert than everyone you're playing with. Verse, so your rebound's gonna look crazy with a 7-3 wingspan. You're gonna be at higher speeds. You're gonna have better animations. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be 95 speed. That's way higher than all these power forwards. You're gonna have a high ass acceleration. You actually got some strength. High vert, high stamina. You know, 
Now look, here's another way on how to make this build if you want um, the same badges. If you don't care about vert, bro, you could take vert down to 70. You could take it down to 70 and you get three more badges. Um, and you could do that. But me personally, bro, man, if I'm going to finish, bro, the difference between 25 and 22, bro, man, it ain't gonna be no goddamn difference, my nigga. Like, let, let's be honest. Y'all y'all really think it's gonna be a difference? I don't think it's gonna be a difference. I'd rather have high-ass vert because last year in 2K20 and stuff like that, um, my, my vert, it helped me stop legend paint beasts, legend comp paint beasts, bro. Comp players, and I only had, you know, 20 defensive badges, and I was 6'6", six, six, right? So, you know... I rather have a stupid high vert, bro. And this is the build, bro. I believe this is the best lockdown build in the game. And um, I will make other versions of this. If you don't understand, you're just stupid, man. A lot of y'all niggas are dumb. You ain't touched the game, bro. <laughs> You'll see, man. Now, I went with this badge right here because who knows the radius of this shit. Um, I'm gonna have this be my primary, bro. Um, to be honest, uh, you know, most people are probably gonna think you're gonna pick extreme clamps, so they're gonna be running from you anyway, bro. So I think while you're like running around trying to catch the ball and catch who's running the ball and stuff like that, I think you're gonna have a bigger radius to still impact the game. That's why I chose this as my primary. By the way, you can change your takeover later once you unlock all your badges. I believe this is the best one. And then for my secondary, um, I chose spot up precision. Uh, but yeah. I might change shit later. Um, I'm going to have to really play with this build. And I, I'm going to let y'all know, bro, um, what's best for a lot. But off rip, I'm going uh, to do something like this, man. And we about to get the build names. Comment it down what build you think it's going to be before you see it. If you're right, I'm going to give you a PS5. Two-way, three-level score. So, look, a lot of people ain't going to expect for you to be that great defensively because of this name. But, um, yeah, bro, I, I think I think you cool, my nigga. With John Wall, Steve Francis, shit like those. Let's go test this build. Need a big for the wreck. Shut your ass up, nigga will block you now the badges i'm not gonna do this um there's so many new badges that man it could take like 10 minutes but i'm gonna just show you them and once i should start to get more familiar with the badges man i probably rock something like this for my badges man i haven't had any experience to play the game bro because 2k is trash bro i basically got the game early for no reason everyone's getting banned so i have no one to play with and also um i can't get any progress in my career so i i don't have experience playing the fucking game it's it's terrible bro <laughs> but yeah so shooting um i think overall i'll probably rock badges like this for the lot i think this is probably the best badges overall i don't know haven't had experience playing the game. You remember why? Hey, make sure y'all turn on notifications, man. Playmaking. You know, big zero. You feel me? Glitch coming soon. <laughs> now for defense, I honestly don't know. Don't know if I need ankle braces. I hear you need it when you get your ankles broke all the time. Checking out Taste Shot on Gold. Clamps Hall of Fame is a must. Intimidator maxed is a must, maybe. Interceptor, you know, rocket on silver. Puggo stick silver, I'm not too sure. Pickpocket Hall of Fame, not too sure. Pick Dodger Hall of Fame, must. Oh, I need, I need the highest chance possible not get screened. I'm hearing niggas can't use screens. Uh, I hope so, my nigga. ISO should always be the meta. Hall of Fame rip protector, must. Um, rebound chaser, bronze, I don't know if that helped. I don't know if this will help, but um, I don't know. I think this is a good, decent badge lineup to go with. 
Uh, anywho, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on the post notice, bro. If y'all want to see me stream, man, go follow me on Twitch at Lord Baby Hulk. Sub to my second channel. That's where I'm dropping the Rage Taj's Man, Toxic Swan, Toxic Swan. And um, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter if you want links to get a PS5, my nigga. It's in the description. Follow all my shit on the description. My Instagram, Snapchat, all that. Anywho, I'm out this hole, man. Make sure y'all drink a gallon of water a 